Hello, welcome to another live broadcast. Yep, Septic Tank TV is live. And in this broadcast, I'm going to show you how to build a three chamber septic tank. That's right. So let me just show you that. It's going to look something like that. <laughs> I'll do that again. Hold on. Let me just do that because the. Uh... OK, so it's going to look something like that. That's what a three chamber septic tank looks like. And that's what I'm going to show you how to build. Right. So let's get straight into this. So if we dive into here. All right. So let's say you've dug your hole. Now, obviously, the size of the septic tank is going to depend on the number of bedrooms or the number of houses that you're catering for. But I just want to show you the principle here. We're not really going to deal in sizes and lengths and widths and height and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you the basic principle, whether you live in the UK, whether you live in America, whether you live in India, wherever you live, right? This is basically how to build a three chamber septic tank. OK, so the first thing that you need to do is like with anything, you need to create your base plate. Now, this is obviously a slab of concrete. Now, this could be some kind of template that you pour the concrete into and when it sets, you've got your base or they could be pre-molded. But the point being is you need your base first. OK, now, once you've built, uh, created your base of concrete, um, I suggest um, when you if you are actually making it um, with a template, pouring concrete in there, you use rowbar, you actually um, strengthen it. All right, so make sure it's reinforced with, with steel or, or, or some kind of other material. Once you've done your base, you then put the sides on. One, so in this instance, I'm going to put three sides on because I want to show you how to construct the inside. So again, you could be using sections that you've already bought and that you're bolting together. That's a very popular method, bolting the sides on to the base and bolting on to each other. Or you could actually create frames, pour the concrete into the frame and actually make your own frame as you go. There's so many different ways to create the base and the size. But the point being is once you've done that, right, you then need to create um, internal walls or partitions or baffles. So once you've done that, once you've put two uh, partitions in into the septic tank, you've now got one, two, three compartments. I'm going to show you why we why three compartments work best better than one compartment, two compartments. It's a very clever principle that someone came up with here. But anyway, once you've done that and your concrete is set or you've bolted them all in. All right. The next thing that you'll need to do is to uh, where is it here? Uh, inlet pipe. There we go. The next thing you need to do is obviously have the inlet pipe coming from the property as to, you know, into the septic tank. So here's the pipe here and there is the septic tank uh, inlet. Now, these are typically about four inches. This is an orange underground pipe and you can see it's got a T piece on there. Now, I'll show you what the T pieces are in a minute what they're for but that's basically what it looks like as an aerial view all right now once you've done that you will then put internal t-pieces in and an outlet to the pipe so if i come down to the side again now what's interesting about this is that you will see that from the first one let's just zoom in a bit from the first one there so the inlet pipe will be the highest. Then the second inlet pipe there, the second lot of baffles will be uh, an inch or two lower. The third set of pipes, which is here, again, will be slightly lower. And then the outlet pipe, Right, which goes to the soaker weight will be lower. So why why are they staggered? Why are they lower? Well, let me show you. It's very, very clever who actually came up with this principle. So once the wastewater enters the tank, the water will go into the first compartment. So obviously, if the second set of baffles here isn't lower, 
then you know the it, it just won't drain into the second chamber or the third chamber so this is why you stagger them and make them lower but this is why you've got three chambered septic tanks because the fat and the grease and the sludge will enter the first compartment it will then sink to the bottom when the liquid um, reaches the um, top of the first baffle there the water will then enter the second chamber like so but you'll notice that the level of the liquid the level of the wastewater there is lower than in the first chamber all right so this is because it screens and filters off all the suspended solids so you'll have less suspended solids in the second chamber than you will in the first and then when that reaches the outlet height you then will have in your last chamber clean water a lot cleaner than it was in the first chamber and then from there it will just naturally drain out into the soak away so because everything works via gravity you need obviously the um, the baffle pipes there to step down so like a stairs they go down 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 so water naturally finds its own level and can drain away naturally so that's why you put the baffles in and that's why you put the tea pieces in all right so obviously what you would have as well at this stage you would have uh, let's where's the other side panel you'd have this side panel here but i'm just keeping it off because so i can show you what it looks like internally once you've done that you'll then put the roof on the septic tank again it can be a slab of concrete or you could have a template that's reinforced and on top of that you would have three access points so you can access each chamber and get the sludge out and on top of that to keep it childproof you'd have one two and three lids there all right to stop any children or or, or humans <laughs> getting into there you know you know you'd be surprised what kids like they like playing hide and seek and stuff but obviously you don't want them getting into the septic tank so i would advise on a concrete septic tank putting heavy concrete lids on there that uh, you have to lift off with a jimmy bar or it takes two of you to lift off then you know no one's going to get hurt because lots of people die every year from crawling into septic tanks so then once you've done that once you've put everything on let me put the final um side on there that is what the septic tank will look like when it's constructed you've got your inlet pipe and you've got your outlet pipe and so from the other side there you go that so that is exactly what it looks like okay so cost wise how much does it cost to build um, your very own septic tank let's just take the roof off here and the three lids there we go and the three lids well man alive it can cost anywhere from like two to five thousand pounds in the uk to build a three chamber septic tank you can buy them on uh, um, from different companies i think ireland are one of the biggest sellers here let's just see here uh okay let's just type in concrete concrete septic tank let's have a look concrete septic tanks let's have a look on images here uh so the, if you go on the internet you'll see a whole range of uh septic tanks um that you can buy um around the world but yeah you know, here's one in kent in the uk there you go there's one that's already pre-made let's see if we can open that in another window all right so let's make that a bit bigger so there's a precast septic tank that you can buy as you can see it's quite a small tank but you can see it's got one partition in there uh let's have a look at another one in fact what i'm going to do i'm just going to go up here and put uk in concrete septic tank uk yeah here's another another company um i think these are an irish company here let's open the image in another tab there there you go so there's another company that there's a different kind of style of concrete septic tanks you can't beat concrete septic tanks to be honest um, they are better but uh, than the fiberglass and the plastic ones but they cost a lot more money to buy so there you go i hope that's helped 
Um, if you're feeling adventurous and you want to create or build your own septic tank, then obviously just, just watch this video because it gives you the principle of how to do it. You know, in a different life, I'd love to build my own concrete septic tank. Many people make them out of breeze blocks or bricks. Um, you know, personally, I, I, I think concrete uh, lasts a lot longer than bricks because the mortar can fall out, etc., etc. But listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you want to see more free videos, you want to see more of me, more free videos about septic tanks, soakways, sewage treatment plants, whatever, then just go to uh, septictank.co.uk or you can go onto Google and type in Septic Tank TV. There you'll see my Septic Tank TV channel. If you subscribe, you could be in with a chance to win a free concrete septic tank. So, once again, thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I will speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.